The question of the day is, what is your video setup? I've done videos on what I use, or at least used to use, for audio. And I've told you that I use my Nikon V1 for video, but I've never really gone into detail on it. So, let's do that. First though, let me tell you that I'm filming this video on my IMAX webcam so that I can actually show you my equipment. Um, also, let me say that I'm no expert in videography. You know, I figured out how to make videos for YouTube and I found a way that works for me. Okay, I use my Nikon V1 right here, this little baby, and I use different lenses on it. Currently, my favorite lenses are the uh, Nikon 1 18 and a half uh, f1.8 lens or this Nikon 17-55 f2.8 lens with the help of the FT1 adapter here. Uh, for camera settings, I shoot in 1080p. I use manual mode with a shutter speed of 1 60th. Aperture and ISO depend upon my lighting situation though. I usually try to use a fairly wide aperture like around f2.8 and then creep ISO sensitivity up if needed. I manually focus. I put something like a light stand where I'm going to be and focus on it and then move out of the way when I start, move it out of the way when I start recording. Um, white balance will also depend upon my lighting. My favorite way to shoot is with natural light, uh, in which case I use the sunlight white balance setting. Sometimes I augment the natural light using some of my continuous daylight balanced fluorescent lights. Uh, sometimes I only use those lights though, in which case I use a custom preset white balance for them. Okay, for audio. Until recently, I used this Rode video mic here. Um, I liked it a lot, but on a whim, I tried to use this USB mic here, uh, and I really liked the results, so that's what I've been using for the last several videos and what I'm going to continue to use. It's a condenser mic that has to be mounted pretty close to me, and it gets plugged into my iPad where an app records the audio. Then I sync up the video and the audio in post-processing. Final Cut Pro X has a feature for syncing up video and audio that is really easy to use. Um, for now, I have this mounted on a light stand. Ideally, it would probably be mounted on a boom, but I'm getting good results this way. I also sometimes use the webcam on my iMac, like I said in the beginning. Um, a lot of times for my vlog, I'm using my iPhone to, to shoot video, uh, but that's it. That's what works for me, right now anyway. Uh, if you do something different, let us know in the comments of this video. And if you have any questions, let me know.